U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue wrapped up a Midwest road trip at the Indiana State Fair. Purdue met in private with state lawmakers about their goals for the 2018 Farm Bill reauthorization. That's the $800 billion package of laws governing the nation's agricultural and nutritional assistance programs. Purdue says Indiana agriculture leaders told him they want a strong safety net in the next version of the Farm Bill. One he says encourages them to farm for the market, not for subsidies. Don't devise a program that makes uh, people make uneconomic decisions of doing something that's against their uh, farming practices in order to get government payments. That's not what producers want. They want a, a good crop at a fair price. He says that's why he wants Ted McKinney, Indiana's current agriculture department director, to get Senate confirmation as the USDA's first ever trade secretary. In that post, McKinney would travel and find new markets for American farmers. When water runs off farms in Indiana and throughout the Midwest, it often takes with it nutrients that are important to crops. Nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. They can travel downstream and contribute to a large hypoxia zone or dead zone where a lack of oxygen makes it difficult for any life to survive. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the annual dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico this year is about the size of New Jersey. It's close to 9,000 square miles and the largest ever reported. As J.D. Gray reports, an interactive exhibit at the State Fair, it lets you see the interplay between rain and topography. The exhibit is in the Normandy barn. So this is our augmented uh, reality sandbox, and what it's showing here is uh, different topography. It uses a sandbox, a projector, and an Xbox Connect to create a topographic display. You can show people maps and tell them about it, but we want something really hands-on this year. Hit this button over here that will make it rain, and then this will demonstrate how water will drain. Connor says some of the water evaporates and some of it makes its way to a larger waterway. That can contribute to the nutrient runoff, which creates the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. While kids will build mountains and stuff, you can also flatten it out and uh, see all the little uh, holes in there, like Indiana has, and when it rains, those holes do fill up with water. There are ways farmers can reduce the amount of nutrients that make it to the waterway. Some farmers use cover crops to keep nutrients on the property. Other options include no-till farming and nutrient management systems. We're trying to show uh, folks how Indiana farmers are helping try to reduce that hypoxia zone. For Indiana News Desk, I'm J.D. Gray. The technology is on loan from the Elkhart, Elkhart County Soil and Water Conservation District.